now uh, from the Japanese Ministry of Education, Culture, Sports, Science and Technology. Next, Dr. Sakamoto will kindly give us his opening remarks. He is the Deputy Assistant Minister and Deputy Director General, Research Promotion Bureau and Higher Education Policy, Science and Technology Policy Cooperation. Dr. Sakamoto, please. Thank you, uh, Mr. Ichioka. Uh, Ichioka. Um, good morning and good evening, everyone. I am Shuichi Sakamoto from MEX. It is my great honor to welcome the opening of the Riken European Symposium 2022 today. I have noted that since its establishment in 2018, the Riken Europe office has served as a bridge between European countries and Riken. This effort has helped to strengthen ties with leading research institutions and government agencies in many countries and increase the presence of Riken in others. This symposium will be a memorable event as it will be an essential cornerstone for further development of this research collaboration between Japan and Europe. And I would like to express my sincere gratitude for having the opportunity to attend this meeting. The theme of this symposium is Sustainable Research Infrastructure, infrastructure for Sustainable World. Research infrastructures are important resources and the driving force behind all research activities. Therefore, their value will be enhanced when the large number of researchers use them. In the EU, the European Strategy Forum on Research Infrastructures, S3, has drawn up a roadmap for constructing and using research infrastructures. I believe that the S3 promotes systematic development of international research infrastructures across Europe and encourages the utilization and application. Also, I understand that the importance of research infrastructures in the European strategy is further increasing. Japan is also currently promoting the widespread use of both research institutes and universities owned research facilities and equipment within industry and academic settings. At the same time, a higher standard of research infrastructures is always being pursued as a national policy in Japan. Riken's supercomputer FUGAK, the large synchrotron radiation facility Spring 8, and the X-ray free electron laser facility Sakura are widely utilized in Japan and overseas. In addition, large forefront research facilities tools, including bioresource related ones, such as high reliability cutting edge NMR and heavy iron beams made at the RI beam factory are also provided. Next is looking forward to the enhancement of Riken's contributions to development of science and technology by providing research infrastructures to researchers from a broad range of countries and regions around the world. I hope that this symposium will give all involved parties and valuable opportunity to learn about the research results that can be achieved through the utilization of Riken's research infrastructures, facilities, and equipment. I'm also looking forward to active discussion on how to further develop collaborative research with European and other countries through the advanced use of research infrastructures. Due to the serious effects of COVID-19, we cannot discuss in person, but I have noticed that all my 
honorable colleagues are joining this symposium from numerous countries and regions. I wish you all a meeting, a, a meaningful outcome at this symposium. Finally, I also would like to wish all colleagues from the Helmholtz Association, CERN, the British Rutherford Appleton Laboratory, the RICAN, Europe Office, and all the attendee institutions, all the best for the future. Thank you very much.